So to kick off the first virtual event and kind of tie a bow on summer, um, I'm going to screen a, a screen film that you can't choose from. And this is kind of featured their intermediate and advanced ballet students from the summer session to show you those. Um, we have we have choreography with our stylist Kari who ballet. And the film editing was done by Jesse Pace, who is the commercial film editor. And just for some context while you're doing it, uh, the filming captures were all done by the students and their families in real time with the direction from the choreographer. So, and you can show us a little background on that on our next
officially over it. You can ask for another call to wrap that up. Um, if your family is affiliated with the However, if you are with the community school, if you are with the community school, there is an answer to that. So I decided to go on the book to the office to give a little talk on um, the beautiful and enrollment and registration issues that are going to be created by my life and my life. So I'm going to be answering questions about that. So if you're just want to remind you, if you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube, be sure to click the link and come to the webinar and have a question. Um, and with that, I will turn it over to you. Thank you very much. Uh, for the next few days, we will have a finding the book. And I said, our students have a program session on the program. I'm so excited to see that I'm going to have a virtual office hours. But I'm also tired of the opportunity for our staff and our team have been really hard to get together and have the time. Our classes start in August 8th, so it's been two days, so we have to make sure that you do that and try that out. I have a huge question, but it's been a good time to interact I don't want to get a special shout out, but I'll be back to you. They are just such a great job. So, how are you doing? That's definitely a great job. Along with our introduction, we have a special question. The first thing I want to mention is the state of the state.
And I'd also like to mention that um, if you want to know more about what happens in the um, please sign up for the newsletter and find out first about all the competition. Uh, the newsletter goes out the second Saturday of the month. So if you want to find out, that's the place to do it. I will also put the link in the chat. Uh, so it will be there for you. Okay, and now we'll take this time if there's any questions. Any questions here that I can answer? Thanks. Well, I'm also keeping an eye on um, through my team on Facebook and YouTube to see if anything's coming through. Um, can you talk a little bit more about the Friday night recitals and who, uh, just sort of the format of them? You mentioned it's by department, so can you clarify that a little bit? Yeah, so in the past, our Friday night recitals have been all of our students have been the same recital. Um, and this year, we decided to break it out by consent. So the strength, voice, wind brass percussion, um, they each have separate recitals, um, which is really cool. It's almost a, um, you know, a little, like, not a studio recital, but kind of the same idea where you're seeing people who are playing a piece of music that you play, or maybe that you want them to play. It's a really fun kind of it's, it's a really community environment, and it's an awesome to one. Okay, and if anyone is interested in registering, are there any deadlines that they need to be aware of right now? I would say just register before the start of the class. Um, so that is your best bet. Um, so make sure you do that. Um, go to the click the class register. That will bring you straight to our registration um, And you can register there. I'd also like to say if you're interested in private lessons specifically, um, you don't go register right away because it's going to be free for you. So you go to Coleman School, that can be slash DSPA query, and you can submit it to the that way. Okay, great. Um, I don't think we have any questions at the moment, although I want to I want to point out um, to everybody watching, whether you're on Facebook, YouTube, or on Zoom, um, you can always email cspa at colburnschool.edu if you have any questions about um, your specific situation or anything um, sort of generally about enrollment as well. So thank you, Will. Yeah, thanks, thanks Michelle. I just want to thank you, um, everyone, for watching on YouTube and Facebook. Um, you know, be here for the first ever virtual office hours. It's so great. Thanks, Michelle, for putting this together. Um, if you have any other questions, um, again, the SBA, I'm just going to like to see you. Um, we'll check that as fast as possible. And also, you can just follow us on social media as well. Great. Thank you all. Thank you. Um, and, <laughs> and yeah, and I, I, this is a very momentous virtual office hour. So I'm, I'm, for those that are here, the few of us that are here, thank you so much. Um, so that's a little bit of an update from the curricular side of things. Um, on the performing side, even though we're, we're limited in a lot of ways by the campus closure, um, the community here is still finding ways to perform, and they're sharing these great videos with us. So if you haven't seen any of them on our uh, Facebook feed yet or on YouTube, um, be sure to go to colburnschool.edu slash colburnconnected, and we've compiled all the videos there. You can watch some of the performances that we've got from the students, faculty, alumni all across time zones and some really great stuff so I, I encourage that um, one of the projects that the school has put together to share with you features faculty members Martin Cooper and Fabio Bikini performing Beethoven's Sonatas for Vinyl and Piano so this is a, a 10 part series we'll be screening all 10 parts during our serving of Beethoven lunchtime concerts which take place every Thursday at noon on Facebook um, we just picked off the first uh, the first installment of this with Sonata Number no. 1 on Thursday. For those of you that weren't able to catch it, I'm going to screen just the first movement of it now. But I really encourage you to go to our Facebook page and look through our videos and find the full performance because there's some great pre- and post-concert talk and interviews um, with the performers as well as the team at the conservatory. So, I'm going to cue that up for you now.
come back. Um, so I, again, I want to remind you that for the conclusion of that performance, as well as some really great pre and post concert talks with the performers, be sure to visit our Facebook page um, and click on videos. It should show up there. Um, otherwise, you can scroll down at all. It'll be one of the last things that I'll read. And don't forget to tune in lunchtime, so noon on Thursdays for the next nine weeks to watch the rest of the other nine um, installments of this performance series. Um, so before I screen the last the last video I have, which is a, a throwback from the archives, I wanted to give you just some quick updates on uh, what's going on um, at Colburn, sort of referencing things that were mentioned earlier on, and also do this quickly. I, I want to share with you. This is the new website. If you can't see it, let me know. So this is the new website that was just refreshed. It's, it's been uh, redesigned specifically to make it easier to navigate and find information that you're looking for quickly. So right off the bat, we have all of our departments very clearly laid out at the top of the screen here. And we'll, you know, you can unmute if you want to say anything, but this is an easy way to get to the inquiry form as well. So from the main Colburn School page, you can just hover over Community School and read all about um, all about our programs, uh, stuff that we have by age, by instruments, and then again, the inquiry form is right there. Um, anyone interested in um, applying for conservatory music academy or to our dance programs, we have that as well, including audition information for those interested. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention is that Cell also actually mentioned at the top of the hour is our EDI initiatives. So over summer, we release uh, our statement of commitment to equity, diversity, and inclusion here on campus. And we have a number of initiatives rolling out this year. So where you can find that is this top gray bar here, which is for institutional level information. You hover over about, you can scroll down and click on equity, diversity, and inclusion. And you'll be able to read the message that Cell sent out to the community when we released the statement, um, the statement itself, as well as the initiatives that we have planned for the 2020 and one year. Um, of course, this is just a starting point, so I encourage you to check back regularly. We'll have, um, we'll be um, adding details here as these programs start to come together, but we'll also be adding new initiatives um, in the future as well. So this is where you'll be able to find more about that. Um, the other thing I will point out that is very exciting is that the event calendar has been reworked, and it's a lovely layout. Mm -hmm. You can actually view things in a month view, and it's very easy to get a sort of a sense of everything that's up. Right now it's a little spare, although I also wanted to bring up this page to let you know that there is a season of performance season coming together, um, and just keep your ear to the ground. We'll have some more details in the coming weeks, and this calendar will look hopefully a lot different. Um, and just in closing, um, specifically for fall, if you hover over quick links, so this is going to be where we keep sort of like top of mind information. Um, you can click on fall semester instruction update and get more information about each one of the the units and how they handle it. Um, let's see. So the last video, that's it for the website. If you guys have any questions, again, feel free to email me at parents at fulbrunschool.edu. And for the last video, uh, I'm going to screen a performance of the Colburn Orchestra, so the, the Conservatory's flagship um, ensemble from October 2012. That year, KCET was broadcasting some of the, some of the performances for the orchestra. And this excerpt is the first orchestral sketch of Claude Debussy's La Mer. And we've added a, a little helpful, helpful commentary. I hope you enjoy it. Um, it should be, it should be something.
a wrap for the first virtual office hours. I hope you enjoyed that performance and the helpful commentary that we provided. Um, we hope that you join us again. Our next um, our next office hours will be September 26th at 2.30 p.m. unless anyone emails me and lets me know this is a terrible time to run this, <laughs> this uh, event. Feel free to reach out, parents, at colburnschool.edu and let me know what you'd like to see and when you would like to see it and I will do my best to accommodate. Um, so thank you so much for joining us 